Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. I gravely apologize for it was like a, it was like around 22 minutes in the last video that started glitching, like the video started glitching, or occasionally, every so often you'll see a flash on the screen. It's like silver or whatever on like most of the screen, and then. I think it messes with the audio a little bit in terms of like making it jump. It definitely makes my commentary jump. I gravely apologize for that. I don't know why it happened. But at the same time, because the video is still very much watchable, I'm not going to be redoing that video. But I did want to address that before doing anything further in this video. Anyway, the next dome is the kitchen. <laughs> we have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only help it at night because it's using the power of that poor grand star. They definitely are. Not that it really matters too much. Anyway, what's this one? Yeah, I thought that was gonna be Bubble Breeze. Hopefully it's not too audible, but ahead of time I do apologize, guys. This is the people in the other room do have music, a decent volume. So it might be barely picked up on by this. Hopefully not, but if it is, it shouldn't be too bad. Here are the poison swamp. Give me service. Now ordinarily you have to talk to that board. I think it's I don't know if it's billboard again or not, but you can just skip it by long jumping. So I will. I'm fairly certain this gimmick is not does not make a return in Super Mario Galaxy 2 at all. And you're pushing around a bubble using the Wii Remote to guide the cursor just like for collecting star bits, and of course. As common sense would say, you don't want to hit any of those spike balls, otherwise it, otherwise it will pop the bubble and you'll fall into the poison swamp and die. Now, there is a skip you can do. There's an invisible, like, platform that's not supposed to be there that you can jump on top of and then, um, make it right to where the star is at. I can't remember exactly where it's at, though. Oh, okay, it's in that general area, so I think I know where it's at then. Might take me a few tries to get it. I don't care if it ends up being counterproductive or not, I am going to show this off. Okay, there it is. Found it. Yeah, when you start sliding, there's nothing you can do about it, you're just dead. I want to say that's not the only part that has the invisible platform. So let's try... This? Nope. I've got lots of lives, so I don't have to worry. I almost think you want to do this. Up. 
Okay. Stupid crap. I hit the top of that rock and that made me slide. And then I end up hitting the top of that rock and block me from getting the jump. There we go, got it. <sighs> I knew it seemed like I should have been able to make it when I uh, hit the what top part of that one rock and it made me slide into the poison. <clears throat> Rosalina's library is open. You can now read the storybook. That may not be that, that what that exact text said. I wish I would have skipped through, but oh well. Too bad, so sad. <clears throat> Beach Bowl Galaxy. Sunken treasure. I love the Beach Bowl Galaxy slash uh, Future Galaxy, I won't name yet. Um, music. Now you're tended to go in the water and find star chips to get you up here, but you can just do this. Mario can make it too. Hey, getting this star very short and sweet. <clears throat> Gotta love giant sequence breaks like se giant sequence breaking like this. <clears throat> There's the hungry Luma. Each bowl goes by quite quickly. Passing the swim test. I probably gave him a voice in the uh, Loop de Loop Galaxy, and I can't remember what it is, so if it's not the same voice again, I apologize. Square at School's final swim test? Yes. Let's test you as clutch shells in the ocean. You bring me the gold shells and automatic for you. That sounds kind of similar to my toad voice and that one Luma, but oh well. Yeah. 
And you have to talk to him to activate the gold shell, I'm fairly certain. Also, the first time underwater in this Let's Play. Okay, where the heck's that penguin? Okay, there. Helpful things to know of swimming. When it comes to swimming in Galaxy 2, you can't swim uh, continuously that fast like this. And the other thing is, with Luigi and you spin underwater, he'll lose breath much faster than Mario does. So be careful with that. Amazing! I didn't think you'd be have to be able to ring the rat! Well, you hear the thing going on over you! That sounds kind of more like a penguin, I guess. I can't even, I can't even remember the voice I just did. I shine with a chance for even one of my students. Time for a Penguins and Madagascar reference. That information is classified, soldier. Have your stupid shell. <laughs> yeah. The have your stupid shell part was not part of the reference, by the way. There's the other one, one off galaxy. The secret undersea cavern. Seeing that first area, that one area with those blocks that was shown in the beginning, anybody that's played through all of Galaxy 2 will recognize that immediately. <laughs> yeah. There's a hidden mission too, I'm gonna do that now. Hidden star, secret star, whatever. <clears throat> I think this mission is actually gonna take longer than any of the, uh, any of the other stars that I'll be doing right now in this galaxy. Which is hilarious, this isn't gonna take that long either. I know this is possible because you can also, believe it or not, you actually can make this jump with Mario as well. You wouldn't think you'd be able to, but it is possible. Anyway, the first appearance of the Ice Flower. You transform into Ice Luigi. Shake the Wii about to skate, you can walk on water too. And wall jump up waterfalls. Yeah, wrong side. I didn't think I was on the right side. Here's the first appearance of the Cataquax, the Cataquax from Super Mario Sunshine. Of course, you gotta guide him across the ice and don't let him either get hit by that thing or fall in the water, otherwise you'll have to go back. Okay, 
so stop that. Stop that, you stupid douche. I think you got caught. Yeah, you got caught by the ice spike. Not trying to give a demonstration, but at least I'm showing up why the star can be annoying. Why do you walk into the water, you moron? While jumping up waterfalls. Mm. The secret undersea cavern. Of course, I didn't really say this, but it's kind of obvious, but you grab a shell underwater, you'll move faster. or whatever they're called. And here we have the Stone Cyclone. One of the most infamous things in Super Mario Galaxy 2. I don't know if it is in this game, I don't think it is, but at least in Galaxy 2 it's possible to long jump from this quarter to that platform and do a wall jump and be able to get up to where the star is in the, uh, one of the missions in Galaxy 2. Uh. Oh yeah, I was just checking my IO capture. Be checking something here. New chapters added to the storybook. Let me see. Okay, so as you guys can see, there is a comet at Beach Bowl, but it has not appeared yet. Since that is the case, I am going to go ahead right now and take care of the Luma Galaxy. Hungry Luma Galaxy. Six hundred star bits. Oh my! Yeah, I'm laying down because my body and back need me too. My feet were in the way, so the Wii remote uh, sensor thing was not hitting the sensor bar because it was blocked. <sighs> drip drop galaxy has appeared. It should appear, but if that comet still doesn't appear, I won't pay that woman to get it to appear. 
because I'm gonna get pulled back to where Rosalina is after this mission anyway. Mission is John Eel outbreak as you would expect, stupid torpedo Ted. Um, since it's called giant eel outbreak, you start with a shell, you're supposed to kill all the eels. Don't shy away, regardless of whether you're playing as Mario or Luigi, you don't shy away from spinning a lot because they give you lots of air bubbles, plus, you can always just appear up above. The surface for air as well. Get there. Lateral damage. Oh well. Oh, and also, another thing of interest to note is if you hold the Z button, you will slow down. So keep that in mind. Want one of these coins? Good to hit the tail of the one. I was going to say I think that is the last one, and the star appears all the way over at that on that sunken pirate ship. good the comet appeared. I figured it would. When it comes to Rosalina's storybook, I'm not going to be doing that until near the end of the game. That way I can read them all one right after the other. Let's finish off Beach Ball with this kind of mission. And I will do that one off Galaxy, and that will be it for this video. <laughs> in the next video, I will um, do the other big galaxy and the Bowser Galaxy. And there's at least one other thing in the next video I will be doing as well. You guys will find out what that is in the next video. It's something that's not available yet. It's a fastball comet. Even with this being a fastball comet, the enemies still are not as fast as they are in this galaxy in Galaxy 2. Fastball is on the stone side for me. Another thing of interest, this music right here is actually the music that plays in this galaxy in Galaxy 2. It's not the normal version of the uh, Mario Bros. Underground Bubble Remix. No, I did not want to backflip, but wanted a long jump. And done.
Booty Base Galaxy. This is a very unique uh, one off galaxy. Side of Bowie Base Galaxy. Guys, you can see that star there. Of course, the three all collided with each other. I was hoping one would survive, and of course, that didn't happen. But I knew that was gonna happen. Get rid of this stupid armored Goomba. Spin you into the frickin' water. Okay, and... There, got it. Did that hit Luigi? Nope, okay. But here we have a green star, not a regular colored star. If you haven't ever, if you've never played this game, but have played through all of Galaxy 2, you'll wonder, you'll, you won't think that's really anything special. Or if you've played 3D World, but never played the Galaxy games, or seen them play. But they're actually special in this game. You rescue! You rescue! You rescue the real monster! These stars have a special power! Three little was about them. After all, they'll transform into real power stars someday. I will humor the game this time. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxy, so we're starting it out where we will need the power of two others like me. Now, something interesting right here. Do you see these two lumens right here talking? They're in both the Comet Observatory in this game and Starship Mario and Galaxy 2. And like you can see them look around for look like sometimes like right there they're right, right next to me. I don't think they're normally right next to you, but you can also sometimes see them talking like right there if you go into first person. Um, but if you approach them, they will separate like that. I don't know if it's just two specific ones or if they just talk to each other randomly and then float around, but I um, I think it's two specific ones, and again, you try and approach them, they go away. I want to say that one right there is another one of them. There's lumens that you can interact with do not, aren't constantly moving around like that. Like, for, like the they, ones you can interact with are moving in place, they're not constantly moving all all over the place. But yeah, I got pulled for the green star, but yeah, as you guys can see, the reason this is a very unique one-off galaxy is that it's not, it's, te I don't know if it should be considered that or not, but it's technically, in my, for the way I see it, it's technically not a one-off galaxy because it has two stars, not just one.
But if you want to call the one-off galaxy, it's the only gal one-off galaxy that has more than one star. Oh, I see the torpedo head launcher. I think the thing hit the fan blade. Oh, it's okay. Here's this one. Breaking camera angle. There. Like the Mario 64 games where you just take damage from being underwater until you die. In this game, there's an air meter. Once that goes down, then you'll lose health steadily um, until you die. But it doesn't take too long to die, so... I use the word steadily lightly, and that not, doesn't actually take as long as what you would think the word steadily would be. Got all the epic music in this galaxy. I'm fairly certain they use this uh, exact soundtrack for a galaxy in Galaxy 2. I won't say what the name of it is. Yeah, I didn't need to mess with that, but since I did, I might as well get up here the intended way. Now you can climb this without hitting or screwing that screw down, but there is one star chip that's obscured by one of these moving platforms, so you have to uh, unscrew that screw to be able to complete the mission. And unless it's possible, and I just didn't like do something that makes it possible to do it, um, I've tried over and over again, and it's not possible to reach. Um, You guys can see that other platform, like you can't reach that by triple jumping. There might be something else I'm thinking of differently. But well, regardless, before I explain further what I'm wanting to get at, I need to finish collecting these star chips. Oh, okay, there's the swamp. Or, yeah, the swamp that has it above it. Where's the one star chip I don't have? Oh, I see it. Gotta love this heat galaxy's music, it's incredibly epic. getting at. But I remember some sort of trouble jumping thing I tried to do in the past and I, it was not possible no matter how hard I tried. I swore this was the galaxy. I don't know. Hmm. 
check this and the map. Just gonna look this over real quick and then on up the video. Today I'll be these and something else in the next video. <clears throat> but anyway guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time for more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Bye everybody.